Hello everybody. Welcome. I'm so glad you could join me tonight for my Facebook Live. I have some really fun cards to share with you. I've got some stuff from last week that I didn't get to make for you, so that's kind of cool. Hi Sarah. Hi Shelby. Claudia. Carrie. How's Arkansas? Jamie. Alexandra. Glad you could tune in. Hi, Nikki. How was supper? <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Thanks for the ink pads and paper. My husband gave them to me. I so appreciate it. Marianne, Sierra, I hope that baby's doing well. Hi, Kelly. I hope you're well. Andrea, good evening. Julie, sunny North Dakota, welcome. Anne Marie. Okay, you guys, let's see. What am I going to tell you about this week? Um... I've got a few updates. Uh, let's talk about, um, somebody asked me again about how Anna's continuing to do, and she is doing fabulous. I actually ran into her at the store the other day, and um, it was kind of funny because I said, you look fantastic. She's like, oh my gosh, I didn't do my hair. I don't have any makeup on. I'm like, no, but you look healthy. You look like you're not miserable and in pain. So that was really cool. Um, she's doing great. She's got a birthday coming up on May 1st, so I think I'm going to surprise her with a pretty cool present. Um, Haley, my youngest, she passed her Ed TPA this last week. <laughs> this is huge. She's going to be a teacher, and um, teachers nowadays in the state of Wisconsin have to take this horrendous, awful, horrible test. And not only do they, do they have to do that, but they have to submit a portfolio and um, a 22-page like uh, paper. Ugh, it's horrible. So she passed her ed TPA. She said you needed 38 points to pass it, and she got maybe you need 35, and she got 48. I don't know, but it was very cool. Oh my crown! Sherry, thank you so much. Darn it. My hair looked really good tonight, though, right? <laughs> Lots of times I could, like, tuck my hair in with my crown. <laughs> um, okay, our snow is almost gone, so that's pretty exciting. It's been a beautiful day here in uh, Menasha, Wisconsin. Um, my pool is melting again. It froze up again, but now it's melting. What else? Um... Retirement, that's our big thing right now. Um, our retirement list is out. There's still the majority of the things that are on the retirement list are still available. I know that the Bold Butterfly framelits are gone. The Daisy Designer Series paper is gone as well as the Oh So Lovely or Oh So Something. Whole Lot of Lovely. That paper's gone too. Hi, Karen and Doris. Welcome. Um, Mary Lynn, yay! Um, so there's a few things that are gone, but otherwise we still have everything in stock. Heather, have a fabulous time in Vegas. I'm excited you're watching tonight. I know Heather's going to Vegas soon. She's pretty excited about it. <laughs> okay, um, winners from last week are... We have... Commenting, Elaine Rebeck, if you're watching, hi Sherry, hi Sherry, <laughs> I've got two Sherry's on at the same time, Elaine, if you're watching, you are a winner, you're going to get this exclusive hostess set called Background Bits, and I'm also very excited to say I am super um, organized tonight, well so far, so just give me time, I'm sure I'll blow it, but <laughs> I'm super organized tonight. I've got envelopes ready to go in the mail so I can get all of these gifts out in the mail um, tomorrow. I've got a super busy week coming up, and I'll tell you about that in just a little bit. So, Elaine, thank you so much for commenting. Everybody who comments on my video gets entered into a prize drawing, and I've got a lot of stamp sets to give away, so that's pretty cool. Hey, Elaine, yay! I'll be putting this in the mail for you. And then we have, let's see, um... Michelle Davis. Michelle, are you watching tonight? I know you have been a loyal watcher. Uh, Michelle Davis of Omro, Wisconsin. By the way, Elaine was from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. 
Michelle Davis of Amro, Wisconsin, you are the winner of this adorable little In the City, also an exclusive hostess set um, that's only available when you actually have a party. So, yay you. And then our last gift is for Linda Bunce. Linda is in Sun City West, Arizona. She sent me a picture today of um, a nest that was in some flower beds, a quail nest, and it had like a ton of eggs in it. I couldn't believe it. So I, I, I enjoy pictures like that. Linda, you're going to get the Pop of Paradise stamp set, and I will be dropping these all in the mail tomorrow. So woohoo! Hi, Marsha and Lou. Ellen, welcome. Okay, let me get these out of the way. Uh, what else do I have to tell you? I think I'm going to go close my door. Hi, Brooke. I'm going to close my door because my husband's coming in and out of the house and he's cooking right now. Oh, thank you. Yeah, will you move that? I appreciate it. He's closing the door for me. Thank you. <laughs> he remembered. He's. What are you cooking? Beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff. That's what he's making. My whole house smells like beef stroganoff. So... I had to go get myself some um, almonds because I'm starving and uh, it's not done yet, but I'll be eating when we're done here. So don't worry about me. Okay. Let me get these set aside. All right. I wanted to show you guys some cards that I got this week. Uh, this one comes to me from Heather Kohler. I know Heather's watching. Whoops. And it says, you're absolutely fabulous. Isn't that pretty? Love this card, and she is, <laughs> Kelly, I want to thank you for all you do. I love watching you create. Congrats on your new fun job. Isn't that sweet? Thank you, Heather. That is just so sweet. And then I got another card from Suzette Lewis. Suzette can't watch tonight because she's at a concert, but she's going to watch tomorrow or later when she gets home. But check this out. Holy cow, right? Yowza. This was pretty cool. And this says, this is to Kelly and Steve. Congratulations on your new Harley. Life is a journey. Enjoy the ride. Thank you, Suzette. This is so cool. Hi, Robin. Glad you could join us. Okay. I always appreciate you guys. I just want you to know how thankful I am that you tune in with me every Sunday night to watch these videos. Um, I have some news. Next Sunday, I will not be live. I know, right? But it's because I am going to Mexico. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I am looking forward to this vacation. So um, the hubby and I are going to Mexico. And um, his niece is getting married. She's from Colorado. So we're going to a destination wedding. She's getting married in uh, Playa del Carmen. And uh, you guys all want to say a few extra prayers for us because we're actually going to the resort that's had a lot of problems lately. It's a five-star resort, but ugh, there's been some creepy things going on there. And Cancun's been a little creepy too. So we'll always take those extra prayers. I'm so looking forward to um, having some fun in the sun and just relaxing. So that's, I'm, I'm, overjoyed. And the wedding. The wedding is going to be super fun too. And I enjoy, it's my husband's family, so I enjoy spending time with them. I don't get to see them often enough, so that'll be fun. All right. Um, hostess code. I will show you this the correct way. It'll be on my tabletop. Make sure that when you're placing your orders, you're using that host code if your order's under $150. I have special perks for everybody when they use that host code. And also make sure um, if your order is over $150, you don't need to use the host code. I will see your order and make sure you get entered into any drawings that I have. So, yeah, Dee Dee, I'm not going to turn my back on my drink. As a matter of fact, I've kind of pretty much decided maybe I'm only going to drink things that open up for me. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of creepy. But, um... Anyways, I'm sure we'll be fine, and hopefully they have everything under control now, and I don't know, you know. Um, what else is happening? Oh, the share what you love um, promotion. So, you guys, you probably have heard that we have a big promotion coming starting May 1st. I'm going to be in Mexico, but I will have things popping up on my blog, so make sure, if you're not a subscriber, 
when we're done with this video, please go to my blog, www.astampabove.com. Over in the right-hand column, you're going to see a subscription blank. Just put your email address in there and subscribe. That's the way you're not going to miss stuff. And I do post Monday through Friday. I do two videos every week, and I post five days a week on there with different ideas for your stamping pleasure. The Share What You Love promotion, oh my gosh, we have a beautiful, beautiful suite of products coming to you May 1st. This is our big promotion, and I'm super excited about it. And I wanted to just take a minute to show you what's included. There's three different bundles. The Just Getting Started bundle, this is great for new stampers, or if you um, want to keep your budget in check here. Then we have a little more please bundle that's got some added on items. And um, then we have the gotta have it all bundle. And oh my gosh, look at all look at all those products. Well, this isn't included in it. That's a different bundle. But look at all those amazing products. Hi, Judy Garza from Texas. Um, let's see. Here is the first level bundle. Well, let me make sure I'm telling you the right information. I don't want to be lying to you. You get new ink pads, and this is our Grapefruit Grove and Old Olive. So you get two new ink pads, and these are our new style. You're going to get an e-block, which is a nice big acrylic block. Yours won't be dirty. <laughs> You're going to get a pack of vanilla um, note cards and envelopes. You get 20 of these in a pack. The Love What You Do stamp set. I have been making swap cards with this, you guys, and it is amazing. And then a pack of very vanilla cardstock. So that is the first option bundle. And then let me bring you the next one. The next step up is the A Little More Please bundle. In this bundle, whoops, you're going to get... The stamp set from the other bundle, the very vanilla cardstock. You're also going to get this cute pick a pendant stamp set. Um, and these letters are super nice because they're trimmed really close to each other. And so you can put them on a block really close and get your words to look pretty neat. You're also going to get, oh, I'm sorry, with the first bundle, you got the pack of envelopes. You get that with the second one also. You're going to get a, the Share What You Love cardstock pack. This is a um, cardstock pack with four different colors. Yep, four different colors of cardstock in there. And look at these beautiful artisan pearls. Holy cow, that comes with it. The pearlized doilies. And these are really, really neat. If you missed me showing these to you last time, let me get this open here. It's pearlized on one side, so it's got a sheen. It's real pretty. The other side is plain white, so you can actually sponge the other side any color you need your doily to be. So that's really fun, right? Then um, you're going to get a pack of the Rich Razzleberry Velvet Ribbon. And the Share What You Love Embellishment Kit. And this is in a box. This box is the perfect size to put cards in, so I'm really excited about that. Okay, let me put that away, and I will show you what's added on for the third level, which is the gotta have it all level. You're going to get this lovely floral dynamic embossing folder. This is one of those super thick folders that makes your items look 3D-ish. Oh, look how that's turning out nice in the camera. I didn't know if it would look decent or not. You're also going to get a statement of the heart stamp set. And this delicious paper. Holy cow. This is the Love What You Share Specialty Designer Series paper. And in this paper, you get, oh, it says 24 sheets, but yeah, I think it is 24 sheets. It's a lot. It's a lot of paper. So that's what you get. Oh, Shelby. Shelby saying hi to her mom, who is also watching me. Hi, Shelby and Arliss. That's cute. Okay, so Janet first, Janet, hi Janet Schmidt, <laughs> uh, May 1st is this promotion, the Share What You Love promotion with um, all these gorgeous items in it. You'll be watching for that. I'll have that loaded up on my, um, 
on my blog and I'll also probably post it on Facebook. I'm pretty sure we have an internet connection and you know, you know, if you know me, you know that my laptop is always with me and um, if you have any questions or whatever, I will be able to answer them. My dread is I don't want to be gone on vacation and come home to this humongous out of control pile of things to do, right? So I'll take a few minutes. My husband is an early to bed kind of guy and I'm a night owl. So he goes to bed early and I'll be on my computer checking in, seeing what's going on with life, you know. All right. What else? I have some really cute cards to show you. So I was going, I actually cleaned up my office a little bit this, this, this weekend, this weekend. Yep. And, um, I found some swap cards. I have gallon bags of swap cards around my room and I found some swap cards that I actually, I had probably looked at them when I got them, but then I set them aside and kind of forgot about them. And did I find some jewels? Okay. So I found, it was like finding a bag of gold for me. The Magical Day and the Magical Mates Framelits. This is just such a really cute bundle. This is in our Occasions Mini Catalog. It is retiring. It is not carrying over to the big catalog. But look at the cards that I found. I did not make these. These are swap cards. Okay, check this out. Oh, isn't that cute? This uses the brick embossing folder on the background. and That's also retiring. And look at this. Is that not the cutest thing ever? I am in love. I really do love this bundle. So here's another cute card that I found. Look how sweet that is. This is that glimmer paper that's also in the Occasions Mini Catalog, and it is also retiring. So the um, this is uh, turquoise and the lime green. Mm, beautiful. And then the inside cute. And then here's another one. I thought this was really unique. Check that out. Cute, right? And this, this stands up on your table just like this. So, whoops, really cute idea. Love that. And then this one. Look at, ah, this uses the rainbow bundle too with the um, magical day bundle. And then let me open it for you. Ta-da! Isn't that just the sweetest thing? Now, the rainbow bundle comes with these framelits in it of clouds, and that's how they cut this so that it opened like this. Isn't that just the sweetest? So I knew I had to share those with you because you guys can appreciate how cool they are. And I was almost squealing when I found the opened the bag, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, these are amazing. I am so very fortunate to be able to... Um, be in swaps with such talented people and just know that that's where, uh, you know, a lot of my ideas come from are uh, these talented demonstrators that I get to swap with. And that's why we swap. We love to share, right? Okay. Let's see. Um, I do have some swap cards that I haven't shown you yet from my onstage trip to Milwaukee. I think I'm going to wait till the end and see if we have enough time. Yeah, Arliss, I know the writing on the cards are all um, backwards, but, um, you know, the stamp set, you can, it's one of a kind. And, um, yeah, it just is. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn my camera down so we can start stamping and get it plugged in so we don't go dead, right? And I've also, you guys, I've got my computer right here next to me. Last week, I put my computer on a different little table beside me, and that did not work because I was not seeing your messages, so I will try to do better, I promise. I know that's frustrating. You guys wanted me to zoom the camera in, which is a tricky thing to do on a Facebook Live, but um, and I didn't see it for the longest time, so I apologize, and I will try to keep better track of things here. Okay, and I am live. All right. We are going to turn the camera around and face it downwards if we get disconnected because if my fingers touch the screen, things can happen. Not good things. So if, um, if I touch the screen and disconnect us, just go to my page and click on the name 
and scroll down until you see a live video again because I will reconnect us. Okay, hang tight. And... Well, that was smooth so far, wasn't it? Hang on. Gotta get things adjusted here. Oh my goodness, I think I did pretty good. Are we gonna focus? Is it? I think it's focusing. Yep. Okay, so where, I always do this with my fingers to know where my center is so that I don't put my cards way down here. I need to keep them up here. Okay, I think we're good. Let me plug in. Because we all know what happens if I don't, right? That was a complete disaster. Okay. And I've got my laptop sitting right over here so I can see what you guys are saying to me. Looking good. Thank you, everybody. All right. I mentioned in the post that I was going live tonight, I mentioned that we were going to um, work on some graduation cards tonight. Tis the season for graduation. Hang on. I'm going to adjust us just a little bit more. There we go. kind of like to be straight. Okay, hi Rose. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna set this right over here. I am concentrating on things that are retiring because I know that my customers um, love to see lots of different ideas. And if something's retiring, I wanna show you some things that are made with it, how to use it, so you can decide if that's something that you need to add to your stamping library, right? First thing I'm going to do here is come in with my card base. I'm using the Happy Celebrations, and then darn it, I was going to look up and see what these are called because I can't remember. Does anybody remember what these embossing folders are called? They go with the Happy Celebration stamp set. And the really neat thing about this stamp set is that the words in here are much bigger than they appear on the front of the case. So this is this is one of my favorites. And we've got all these little splotchy things in here too. These are a lot of fun, great fun elements and some great words in here. Okay. I've got a piece of Whisper White thick cardstock. If you guys haven't gotten your hands on some thick cardstock yet, um, we sell Whisper White and then we sell Whisper White thick and very vanilla and very vanilla thick. And Stampin' Up! decided to add those to our um, supplies because our Whisper White isn't um, as sturdy as we would like it to be. So now we have a Whisper White thick cardstock that gives you a much more sturdy card base. I still use regular Whisper White for my layers on the front. All right, I've got a piece of two and a quarter by five and a quarter inch Bermuda Bay cardstock here. And I'm going to use, <clears throat> excuse me, the Happy Embossing Folder. And I decided that I wanted to show you guys how to use some of these things to make um, graduation cards, even though they're not intended for that. Like, there is no graduation anything in this stamp set. But you can use, you can use these stamp sets for all different kinds of things that you may not think about using them for. How's that? Celebrations Duo, page 211. Thank you, Barbara, very much. Why, why does Andrew like turtles? <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Okay, so here's our happy here. Let me put this big shot back. And then I decided I wanted to do a little stamping on my happy. Because who doesn't love some happy polka dots? Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to use Bermuda Bay ink on Bermuda Bay cardstock. And I'm going to stamp this around here very randomly. I don't want it to look too uniform, right? Okay, there we go. Maybe one more right over here. And you notice how the um, circle stamp does not go down into the impressed happy that's here. So that's the really cool thing about these 
Celebration Duo embossing folders is they um, emboss pretty deep so you can stamp over top and it will make that word pop out really nice. Okay, we can start assembling. And here we go. I'm just gonna put this right on the front of our card and then I'm gonna bring in our Memento black ink and this big celebrate word. I love dots too, Diane, aren't they fun? Dots just can make you happy, I think. <laughs> and we're gonna stamp that right down here. This is a quick and easy graduation card. The cool thing is, is you can make this in the colors of the school, the school colors, and I love to do that. Um, when I'm making graduation cards, I will actually do a search online to find out what the school colors are for the people I'm going to their graduation parties and make cards based on that. So that's really fun. Um, the inside of my card is going to have a Bermuda Bay Big Happy, and this is kind of a watercolory image. And I'm just going to stamp that right up here at the top. Let's see how straight I can get it without sticking my head over it. Well, I did pretty good. And then I've got this For You that came also in that stamp set. Pretty darn good. We're on a roll so far, right? Okay, next. This is not complete. I have a one and a quarter by one and a quarter inch square of black here. That's it. It's just a square. The size matters. If you get these too big, they look kind of silly. They don't represent a graduation hat but when they're just the right size look at this graduation hat so far let me show you how to make the little tassel because this is pretty cool I'm gonna take my white baker's twine and you can use you know any color baker's twine you want I'm gonna just cut off a small piece here um, Claudia the stamp set is called happy celebrations and um, it goes along, like you can buy separately, but these embossing folders go with it. And they're called Celebration Duo. So yeah, this is, this is a cool little set. Okay, now I'm going to take my white baker's twine and I'm going to wrap it around my bow jig about eight or nine times. And I didn't count, so I'm just going to wing it here. Wrap it a couple more times. That should be good. This little piece that we cut off, about that long, you know, this isn't rocket science. We're not going to be measuring stuff here because, well, it's just not that important. I'm going to take that and tie that in a double knot. So I did a single knot, and now I'm doing a double knot. And now I'm going to pull this off of here. This end right here, I'm going to snip. And then I'm going to pull all my little strings down here so they're nice and uniform. And I'm just going to trim off the bottom so it's even. And look at that. You've got yourself a little graduation hat tassel, right? Ah, I know. Super cute. Now, I've made tassels before, and they were always kind of a pain in the butt. But then I thought, why don't I use this bow jig? To make a tassel, I think I can do that, and by gosh, I was right. So that's how I made my little tassel. And then, where'd my card go? Right here. I'm going to bring in a mini glue dot. And I don't think I've shown you guys here on the Facebook Live that your bone folder is a really good tool to use with mini glue dots because for some reason, those glue dots don't stick to it like they do your fingers and your fingernails and everything else. They just... Look at that, it lets go very easily. So again, again, bone folders, mm, good friend. Oh, I see that, hang on, my tassel's crooked. I, I can't have that. That will not do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, these are not bundled. Thank you, Kathy, for answering that question. It was bundled when it was in the mini catalog last year, I believe. It is not a bundle now. So you get the embossing folders, separately and the stamp set separately. Definitely worth the purchase. Look at all those little shapes. You can have all kinds of little shapes all over. So there's our first quick and easy 
graduation card and I like I said I would make this in the color scheme of the kids that are graduating because that's always fun for me okay next I've got another graduation card a little different let me get this stuff out of the way I actually should I I don't even know if I should tell you guys but I actually just made this card at 535 tonight and yeah so that's you know that's how I roll last minute works really good for me almost all the time okay next graduation card and you guys are gonna like this one hang on I'm having a little crinkled up problem here there we go we are using the large number framelits and thank you Laura it is super cute and pretty simple. Thank you guys very much. So I've got my little um, framelits in a pack here. Let me get out my card stock. There we go. Got everything out here. You guys should see my office when I get done with the Facebook Live. It is such a disaster because I'm just kind of pushing things out of the way. It's crazy. All right, cardstock. I have a berry burst card base that's five and a half by eight and a half. And you guys don't have to worry about dimensions for this stuff if you want to recreate it. On Tuesday, I post pictures and all the dimensions and ordering links for all the product that I'm using in my Facebook Live goes on my blog at this address on Tuesdays. So. Um, if you want to write it down, you're more than welcome to, but you don't really have to. Then I have a piece of lemon lime twist that is four by five and a quarter. That's going to go right on the front of our card. And isn't that a delicious color combination? Oh, <laughs> the almonds are good, Claudia. Can you hear me chewing almonds? I hope not. <laughs> I won't do that again. I'm sorry. I am hungry. My house smells. You can't even believe how good my house smells right now. And then I've got um, two Whisper White pieces. These are, let me think about this, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So they're just an eighth inch smaller than the four by five and a quarter. Okay. Um, and then I've got a piece for the inside, which I just cut the same as this outside so I wouldn't get confused because, well, we all know. <laughs> it's pretty easy to get confused. And scraps of Berry Burst and Lemon Lime Twist. And then here is our one and a quarter by one and a quarter inch square. That's going to be our graduation hat. All right, let's get some stamping done. Well, first of all, the first thing we're going to do, this was one of the cards that was offered at my card buffet this weekend. So um, if you guys were there on yesterday, on yesterday, Saturday, you maybe made this card. I'm going to die cut an oval right out of the middle of my white layer that goes on the front. I'm gonna bring in my magnetic platform. And if you get motion sickness, you may wanna close your eyes for a minute because my desk is not real sturdy. I'm gonna put this right in the middle of my white layer with the layering ovals and Punch that out or die cut it I mean I'm trying to read um, comments at the same time that I'm trying to talk to you guys so if I sound like I'm a little um, disheveled that's why I can carry in a conversation with somebody and stamp but try to read and stamp and talk at the same time that is a lot <laughs> all right so this is actually going to be a layer on our card we're gonna stamp first and the stamp set that I'm using is the Cake Soiree stamp set. This is only one of the two cases. Let me see if I have the other one handy right here. I keep all my um, mini catalog products in this a little cabinet right next to me so that I can keep using those. And then once they're moved to the big catalog, I transfer them over to my shelves. This is the Cake Soiree stamp set. It is in the Occasions mini catalog. 
I'm pretty sure this is transferring into the big catalog, so it is not retiring. But I'm just going to use the flower that is in the stamp set because that's what I needed for my card. I've got Berry Burst and Lemon Lime Twist ink as well as Tangerine Tango. Tangerine Tango is retiring. Sad, right? Okay. And then I'm bringing in some dimensionals. We got, we're going to have some rhinestone things going on here. And let me see if I can, there it is. Okay, I was almost thought I lost something. All right, here we go. I'm going to start with Berry Burst and this cute little flower image. And I am just going to make sure that's inked up good. And I'm going to stamp some random flowers all over this layer. Now, this is obviously not for the boys in your life. This is a girly graduation card. Let me clean that off because we're just gonna continue to stamp beautiful flowers in very bright, fun, colorful colors. This is Tangerine Tango. Don't forget we need to leave a little room for the lemon lime twist on here. Oops. And then, let me make sure I have this all cleaned off. Notice how I set my ink pads away from me when I'm using multiple colors. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's just a really good plan for everybody to do. It really will save you a lot of grief. Look at how pretty these are together. How's that look? Mm, well, let's do, I'm gonna do one more orange, just a smidge right there, because that was a kind of a blank space, and maybe another one right there. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, once I have that done, then I wanted to do some flicking. This is such an easy little technique. And I'm going to take my marker and I'm just going to put the, the big tip in and flick it at my cardstock. And this is just going to give it some little black specks and it adds some interest. The one thing I want you to be careful with is that you need to let this dry just a little bit. Because one time I picked it up right away and I smeared it. So you need to let that dry just a tiny bit. Oh, thank you, Rose. Almost stamping off the screen. Okay, thank you for, yeah, please always tell me that. Okay, we are going to start putting our card together now. And Lemon Lime Twist goes right on the front. And then, thanks you guys for the love. I love it when those little hearts flash up on the screen. And I need to remember, too, that there are people watching this that aren't on Facebook because I load this up on my YouTube channel, too. So sometimes they're probably wondering what the heck I am talking about. Well, you guys that are on YouTube watching this, different things happen on Facebook. You should be there. <laughs> okay, here comes my oval. Remember the oval I cut out of the middle here? I am going to... Whoops. Put some dimensionals on it because I love dimensionals. Who doesn't love dimensionals? I have never heard anybody say, I hate dimensionals. Have you ever heard anybody say, I hate dimensionals? Um, no. Hi, Mary Olson. I am glad you could join us tonight. Okay, I'm just going to put this right back in place and try to get it right in place. Ooh, I did pretty good. Yay. It's a lot of pressure with all you guys watching me, right? <laughs> and here comes Eris. Welcome, Eris. I'm glad you could make it. And then, whoops, I've got all my little framelits right here. I've got my 2018. So, I'm going to take some scraps, and I'm going to do these in green and berry burst. So, I need this and this, and then we're gonna do this and this. 
I'm going to run these through the Big Shot and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, through the magic of TV. <laughs> I know that was really sneaky, wasn't it? I've got them done. Now, the thing is to pop these up on dimensionals because again, I'm asking again, who doesn't love dimensionals? They just add so much to your card. I absolutely, I, I don't know, there's hardly never ever a card that I don't make. It's rare where I'm not using dimensionals because I love them. And these little mini dimensionals, they are the bomb. If you guys don't have any of these, you get a gazillion of them in a pack. Like, I don't even know, there's 700 or something like that, but it's a lot in a pack of dimensionals. So the next time you're putting in an order, if you don't have any of these, I promise you that if you place an order for these, you will not be disappointed. And you know what? If you're disappointed, I will pay you for your mini dimensionals and buy them back from you. How is that for an endorsement? You're going to love them. Okay, so I always like to do a dry fit, you guys. So we know where do things need to be placed here. 2018. Let's make sure we don't put your numbers down wrong. I could totally see doing that too. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So I know my two has to kind of pop off a little bit of my oval. I know, aren't these colors pretty? Thank you, Leanne. I agree with you. They are beautiful. Wouldn't you like to have a school with these colors? <laughs> yeah. That would be a, like maybe the school of, um, some kind of art schools might have really pretty colors like this. That would be neat. And I'm, I'm pushing these in pretty close. Now, I have used these numbers for, uh, um, Birthday cards, okay, to, you know, to commemorate the age of the person I'm giving it to you. Especially fun for kids and anniversary cards. So you can say happy 25th or happy 50th or um, things like that. I've also used them for scrapbooking and New Year's cards. So you always are going to have the right numbers for New Year's. So that's really cool. Hello, my friend Barb. Um, and they're retiring large numbers framelits. Oh, so sad. So sad. Okay. Last. Well, no, not last. There's a couple other things that I'm going to do here. Now you guys all saw me make that little tassel on the first card. If you're just joining me and you happen to miss that, I used my bow jig to make the tassel and it's very cool, right? Right? Everybody. Very cool. Don't forget to share my video. I see somebody just shared my video. Don't forget to share this video. Gosh, I so appreciate that. I'm taking my little one and a quarter by one and a quarter inch square here. And I see how that sticks to my finger, but it doesn't stick to the bone folder. It's like magic, you guys. And I'm going to add my little tassel right there. And then we're going to put a couple of regular dimensionals on here. One would probably be enough, but... I don't want my graduation card falling apart and I want it to be stable. And then I'm going to add this right up here. You don't, you want to make sure that your um, hat is not going over the top of your card, right? Look at how cute that is. And then last but not least, because this is very obviously a girly card, we are going to add some rhinestones because why wouldn't you? Because I love them, too. I love them probably as much as I love dimensionals. Oops, I turned that one upside down. Hang on. There we go. There's a rhinestone. I'm going to put another little one right over here. So I just added three rhinestones. Hello, Christy from Australia. Thank you. It is an amazing card, isn't it? I know. I love it. Thank you, I really do appreciate that. And then for the inside, if you want to, you can stamp like something that says congratulations or way to go or something like that. All I'm going to do 
is add some of my cute little flowers so that I have lots of room to write that. I like to write notes in my graduation cards that I give to the kids in my life, telling them that, you know, the sky's the limit. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something, those kinds of things, because I really do like to encourage them. Reach for the stars, all that kind of stuff. So I always have something something inspirational that I like to put in my graduation cards. And here goes our inside layer. Ta-da! Yes, that is an awesome graduation card. And don't you like the little black flecks in the background? And then I didn't put any on the white ovals. So that makes it really stand out. Super cool. Okay, you guys, we're on to the next project. So last week on my Facebook Live, I had another... Um, fun fold card that I wanted to show you, but we kind of ran out of time. So I didn't show it to you. And then it was kind of funny because I saw um, a friend of mine who um, also does Facebook Live and she made the exact same kind of card <laughs> that I didn't show you last week. You know who you are. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. I'm like, gosh, I hope she doesn't think I'm copying her. Because while she is worthy of copying, for sure, I'm not. Okay, next. Let's see. Where's my cool fun fold? I'm going to do this one next because if we run out of time, I want to make sure that I get it in. I think you guys are really going to like it. Hang on while I clean up some more of this stuff. I've just got too much stuff laying around here. It's going to make me a little crazy. So let me put some of my stuff back in my bins. You guys, talks amongst yourselves. <laughs> Do you remember that from Saturday Night Live? Um, the lady used to always go, talk amongst yourselves now. It was always kind of funny. Okay, we're cleaned up and ready to roll. The next card that I am going to show you is called a double triangle fold card. Hang on, I got paper everywhere. And, oh, and then I might show you the ugly card that I made. <laughs> because, yes, it happens. Ugly happens. Okay, I am using the Charming Cafe stamp set and the Cafe Builder Framelits. I'm pretty sure I showed you um, some cards made with that last, last week. Maybe just one card. Well, this was my other one that I didn't get to yet. And let me get out all of my little supplies here so I can figure out what I'm doing. Okay, I think we are good to go. Oh, that's what I was looking for before and I couldn't find it. Okay, so my friend Cindy gave me this card when we were in Milwaukee at On Stage. This is the one that's called a Double Triangle Fun Fold. Look at this. <gasps> Isn't this cool? And it was a congratulations on my promotion. Thank you again, Cindy. This was so sweet and it inspired me to give this a try. So here's how you do it. Let me show you. It is really, really easy. We're going to take our paper trimmer, and let's see, is this, that's my blade, this is my scoring blade. You're going to take a full sheet of cardstock and you are going to score it at four and a quarter and five and a half. Then you're going to remove this blade down here. And that will just pop out. Can you see there's like an extra little space there? That'll just pop right out of there. I'm just going to set that aside for now. Because we need this whole track to cut this diagonally. So I'm going to make sure that my, let's see if I can get you in here. My pointy end is in that channel. And this pointy end is in that channel also. And once I have that perfectly lined up, we're going to use the cutting blade to cut it just like that. So I scored it at five and a half and four and a quarter. Okay, super, super simple. Okay, let me see how am I going to do this. 
um, 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 just like this. Okay, so I'm going to fold on that score line. Let me find my bone folder. Oh, Claudia just did some double triangle fold cards recently. Yeah, they're really fun and easy, right? Because you don't have to do a whole bunch of measuring and, uh, you know, sometimes I'm in the mood for that and sometimes I'm just not. Then I've got a piece of our brick, um, I shouldn't say brick, our Painted with Love Specialty Designer Series paper. This was with our Valentine suite. And while there are some hearts in here, most of it has nothing to do with Valentine's Day. It is the most beautiful gold foil, gorgeous colored paper ever. I love it. You've seen me use it a lot. Now, with this piece of paper, we are also going to cut this at a diagonal. And this piece is just a card front, four by five and a quarter. And we're gonna also put this in our paper cutter so that each point is in that channel. So it's gonna cut it exactly in half at a diagonal. There we go. Easy peasy, right? Then we've got, I've got two pieces of Whisper White here. These are both the same size. Again, four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna do the same thing with these. I'm going to cut one of them directly, whoops, diagonally in half, just like that. And that's gonna be the other piece that goes on my card. Now, the cool thing about making a card like this is that I can make another one and I have all the pieces ready to go because you've got one card here and this can be another card. So that's pretty neat, right? That doesn't happen a lot. All right, so I decided to stamp my card up a little bit and I wanna show you where this flower. I've got this cute little flower and I'm gonna use Rich Razzleberry ink. Yes, Arliss, it is nice that you can get two pieces right away. And I'm just going to stamp this little flower. Isn't that just the cutest little flower? That is coming from the Lovely Wishes stamp set. I'm pretty sure this one's retiring. It's in the Occasions Mini Catalog also. And I'm just going to stamp a bunch of little random flowers on my Whisper White piece. And... All I did was just kind of go looking for a tiny little flower. I didn't want a solid flower. I wanted the image to be open like this. And this one was perfect. I love it when we can go access our um, library of supplies and find exactly what we needed to make that special card, right? And I just turn it and do all that so it's very random. Let me clean this off. This is how I get so dirty. Okay, and then you're going to glue these in place. Pretty simple. Now, as far as the logistics of this card go, that's as hard as it gets. I mean, it's pretty easy and it's a pretty neat wow card. I really, I really like the way this turns out. Okay, and then I'm going to glue my bricks in place right here. And I chose the brick pattern because, well, I kind of chose all of it. The Charming Cafe, you know, with Charming Cafes, you have the brick under the table and chairs. And they had the bricks in this designer series paper. And then I decided what color scheme I was going to use based on the designer series paper that I was using. So it's funny how you come up with these ideas in your head, right? Okay. Okay. I've got the words here that say, I am lucky to have a friend like you. And I'm just going to stamp that in Rich Razzleberry right down here at the bottom. And then there's this little topiary. I'm going to use Stays on Black ink. Stampin' Up is bringing Stays on Black ink back. And I couldn't be more excited about that because it is a superior um, waterproof ink. And I love it. And have you ever smelled one? Oh my gosh, it smells like almond um, extract. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to sniff it though. So maybe that's not such a good thing. Don't do this at home. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, now, I showed you guys last week how I like to use markers to color with, right? And I prefer to put them on a non-porous surface. You can put them right on your stamp case. You can put them on an acrylic block, anything that's not porous, and use your aqua painter to color with your markers. And now I've had people ask me, can I do that with any markers? Well, you can't do it with fast drying markers, like, um, what are those things called? Sharpies. You can't do it with Sharpies because they dry too fast. Yes, Becky, sniff the stays on. <laughs> Um, and you can't do it with our alcohol markers because they dry too fast. I mean, I haven't tried those, but I don't think they'll work. But any other kind of marker you can do this with. So it's pretty cool. If you have a very limited supply or if you're a brand new stamper, you may not have a bunch of colors that you need. Hang on, i got to grab another marker. You may not have all the colors that you need to make something the way you want to make it, right? I certainly have enough markers, um, but don't forget, I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, I can't find the one I'm looking for here. Hang on. It's here someplace. Uh, never fear. I have another whole set of these on a shelf. Um, but anyways... You can use any kind of markers to do this with, and it can really um, add to your uh, stamping supplies for your coloring, right? If you don't, I mean, it's great to have Stampin' Up! markers, and it's great to have markers that match everything you're doing. Don't get me wrong, but sometimes, if you're new, that's not feasible right in the beginning. So, any kind of marker. I almost colored on my paper. That would be kind of silly. So I'm just coloring in my little topiary here. I'm using Crumb Cake Pool Party and Pear Pizzazz, which I still want to call Certainly Celery. I know. <laughs> it's like, that's over. That ship has sailed, Kelly. And then I've got a Stitched Shapes Framelit here. This is our inside. This is going to go on the front. Stitched Shapes Framelit. And I'm going to stamp the little chairs and tables here. Yay, that went really good. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen on live TV, right? And um, did I use, I did, I used gray on there too. Well, let's see if I can find that. See, last week after I did the other project that I made, I put all this stuff away, not remembering that I was going to use it for this particular card also. So that was kind of hard. Is it time for a beverage break? I have my Pepsi. What are you guys drinking? Oh, that's delightful. So I decided when I get back from my trip to Mexico that I am going on a big kick it right in the butt diet because I have gained so much weight since last summer. I don't even want to go get my summer clothes out. They're, it's going to be horrendous. So I went shopping the other day <laughs> because that's what we do when we know our clothes aren't going to fit, right? We go buy some new ones. And I went shopping and um, bought some just cheap clothes to wear on this trip, but I decided when I get back, this is over. Like, I am going to hit the gym. I've been going to the nine-round gym in Appleton, and it's cardio kickboxing, and it's awesome. It's a chain, so you guys might have it in your area, but it's really, like, you're done before you even know what's going on. It's pretty crazy. Did you notice how I just colored right over the chair legs and the table leg? And you can do that because we're coming in with a color over top of it that's going to cover it right up. So you don't have to try and go around all those little chair legs and that table. Ugh, that's horrible. I always try to find the really easy way to do things without a lot of thought and fuss and whatever. Sometimes, sometimes I'll make a fussy, you know, a really fussy card. But most of the time I'm always trying to figure out, hmm. How am I going to make that easier? I shouldn't be um, coloring the chair yet, but I'm going to finish the legs. 
because I don't, I'm going to put water over the top of the chair too for the background. And I don't want that to bleed when I hit it with water. So that was kind of dumb of me to start this. But remember, this card is left over from last week, so I can't even remember how to make it. <laughs> and that's the honest truth. It's bad, you guys. Okay, I'm going to grab some pool party here. And this is what I did. I just brought in some pool party. And I put it in my background because it's going to be so stinking cute. It's really going to make this pop. And another thing I see that I'm doing you don't want to do is you don't want to overbrush on Whisper White cardstock. This is not watercolor paper. And it'll start to pill up and look funny. So you want to get in there and get your job done with it. And there, I'm going to call it a day with this. Okay, and here we go. And now you can come in and finish up this little chair. And it really only does require you to trace over it because it's so thin. And you might want to wait for it to dry a little bit because this is still wet. So it's, but you know, I don't think you guys want me to wait. How am I doing? Am I missing any questions? Who's having a pool party, Sue Schnell? I love pool parties. <laughs> I host a lot of them every Sunday as a matter of fact I have a pool party we call it Sunday fun day at our house and all the kids and the grandkids and friends come over and we just have a good time everybody brings snacks to share and sometimes we cook out and sometimes we order pizza and sometimes we just drink a lot <laughs> nobody eats anything <laughs> You know how that happens, right? I think I'm going to do just a little bit more pool party on my tabletop here. I'm going to leave my coffee cups white or tea or whatever they are. Perhaps they could be wine cups for all I know. No, they're not wine glasses. Isn't that pretty? Can you guys see that? Look at my fingers. It is just pretty. I really love this stamp set. It's very charming no pun intended it is called charming cafe okay i'm going to adhere this to my layering oval scallop layering oval and then we're going to put a couple dimensionals on it let's get this closed up before i drop something in it where'd my dimensionals go here's my baby ones here's my big ones i'm using regular size dimensionals and this is going to go on the front of our card right here so I'm going to kind of put my finger here so I know where to place my dimensionals because obviously you don't want it to stick to the bottom or your card won't, your card won't um, open up, right? And put this right in the middle. <gasps> Isn't that just charming? It is charming. And this is the inside. I am lucky to have a friend like you. And you know what? I could send that to... I could send this to any of my customers because I feel like my customers are all my friends and I feel very lucky to have them. And I could send it to my friends. I could send it to just about anybody. Cool card. Again, this is called the Double Triangle Fun Fold. And um, I use the Charming Cafe. Oh, this is for something else. Charming Cafe stamp set and the Cafe Builder Framelits. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? Let me show you another one I made. This uses the same designer series paper and look how different they are. Yeah, this is in the same pack. The Painted with Love designer series paper. This is also in the Painted with Love designer series paper. Where's the polka dots? Right there. Look at that. Same exact paper pack. That's what I love about our paper packs. I do make it look easy, but Llewellyn, it is easy. I promise you. Um, so this one, this is really cool. I have to show this to you. So here's those little chairs, and I just colored in the flower. Oh, I forgot to color the leaves on this one. I'll do that in a minute. I stamped these in um, smoky slate gray and then I just colored the flower in there and I colored these with markers these flowers but you've got all the framelits in here look at this to cut first of all this outline that cuts out the whole outline 
around the edges of the flowers. Then you've got this one that if you wanted to, you can come in and cut out a peekaboo window, right? So you could peekaboo right into your card. We've also got these two that can just cut out these flowers and you get two of them so you can do it at the same time and cut these out. And do you want to see my ugly card? <laughs> so, this is so funny. I sent this to my friend and she goes, yeah, I really hate that card. And I'm like, okay, thank you for being honest because I wasn't too excited about it either. But it shows you what these flowers do. Are you ready? This is again, the same paper pack. And this card just didn't work. I, and maybe if I use a different background color, I don't know. But anyways, I wanted to show you that this part cuts out those flowers that are on the edge of this oval. And isn't that cool? Okay, I'm getting rid of the ugly card now. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Okay, what else can I show you here? Oh, then we've got, you can stamp three topiaries the little topiary on the inside, you can stamp three of those and cut them out in your big shot at the same time because Stampin' Up! gave you three of these. Another cool part of these are, do you see, let me show you this. Sometimes these are little buggers. You can cut out the chairs and the table. This all cuts out. So that's really cool. And then we've got this square one where you can take this and you can cut a window through your card and leave the chairs and the table stamped on the front. Does that make sense? Yeah, I didn't realize how many different things this did. It's crazy. And um, Lisa, you're asking if my friend sent it back to me. No, um, I actually just did a Snapchat picture and asked her what she thought and she said it was ugly. <laughs> And I kind of agree with her. That's why I didn't go with it. Because usually when I send a card to my friend and I say, what do you think of this card? It's because I'm unsure. And I know that she will tell me the truth. And that is most important to me. You are not going to hurt my feelings. I need to know the truth. Because, well, you know, this is my business and I need it to be good. <laughs> so here's two different cards using the same. This one is a um, short card, this one's a tall card, and look at that. That's why I have this one big meaning out here. That's where the thanks kindly came from. And I used, here's all my cheat sheets. I used Melon Mambo for the background because that's one of the color coordination, one of the colors that coordinate with the Painted by Love specialty paper. And this is still available. It is retiring, but it is still in, um, in my store. So there you go. It all started with a beautiful card that Cindy made for me to, you know, congratulate me for my promotion. And look what it took off into. Super fun. All right. Let me, how are we doing? Okay, it's 7.08. Let me get some of this stuff out of my way. Ooh, I left that stays on open. Don't leave your stays on open. It's not a good plan. Stays on is a super drying, like, um, I'll leave the rest of my ink pads open on my table, but never this one because it dries so fast. Okay, where's my bin? What do they do? Here it is. Let me get all this stuff cleaned up. Yeah, and in a little while, I'll have to put this all away. <laughs> yep, I'm a messy person. Okay, put this away and this away. All right, what's next? Oh, you guys, I have the cutest cards to show you. And I think these are super fast. And this is another fun fold. I just can't, I can never get enough of the fun fold cards. They are my all-time favorite. I absolutely love making them. So, as I was telling you about all the um, swap cards, right? That's where I got... Almost, well, Cindy sent me a card, but the other cards that I'm doing, well, maybe just this one. <laughs> I was going to say, the other cards I made were all from the swap cards. Yeah, they really weren't. But I do have a pile of cards from that swap, and I will be making more um, of those. So I've got a lot more fun folds to show you guys. Not tonight. 
because I understand that you have to have a life and probably go spend some time with your family and all that stuff. <laughs> but anyways, so we are going to do one more fun fold and I have a whole bunch, um, well not a whole bunch, I have several different colors to show you using this fun fold. And I'm starving, so I'm going to need to eat soon. This is the Lovely Friends and the Lovely Laurel Thinlets. This, again, is a bundle. Um, I don't know if it's bundled or not, but these framelits go with the stamp set. I don't think it is bundled because this was in a mini catalog last year. These are both retiring. And maybe when I post on Tuesday on my blog all these cards, I'll also post Stampin' Up's video showing you how to use these framelits because we're not going to do that tonight. The, they do things. It's really cool. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, this was one of my favorite stamp sets when I got this because while you make me ridiculously happy, these words are ridiculously big. Look how big that is. And I love big greetings. So you've got these big greetings with a whole bunch of little elements, which is so much fun to create with. And I decided to get out my Foil Frenzy Specialty DSP because this is one of my favorites, and of course it's retiring. It's only one-sided, but look at that Foil Beauty. This is um, Melon Mambo, or is it Berry Burst? I don't know. One of the two. Berry Burst. Berry Burst. Okay, Berry Burst. And um, Calypso Coral. Lemon Lime Twist, and Pool Party or Soft Sky. Either one would work. So you have polka dots, and then you have stripes in all of these, and then you have this cool herringbone design, also, again, in all four colors. And this paper, it's thicker, so it's great for making boxes. You can make a card and a matching little box and put some candy in it. Oh, I love this paper. Okay, enough drooling. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I've got Lemon Lime Twist here, and this is eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm just going to fold it in half, give it a good crisp burnish with my bone folder, and now I'm gonna take the front back and put it all the way to the edge. And again, good crisp burnish with that bone folder. Now you're like, oh, Kelly, we've seen this a dozen times. Hang on, this is a little different. And it's pretty cool. And this was one of the swap cards. So, there. <laughs> then I've got two pieces of Whisper White. These are four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to take my Lemon Lime Twist. And where did my baby wipe go? Did you guys see it? What did I do with that? It's on a plate. Oh, here it is. This is disgusting, so I'm just going to get out a new one here. Lovely Friends, page 173. Thank you, Kathy Miller. You are always got my back, girl. Oh, I love her. <laughs> Thank you for sharing the page number of the Lovely Friends, page 173. Okay, Lemon Lime Twist. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to stamp this as high as I can at an angle. See how good I do without sticking my head in the camera. Oh, look, it's all kind of crappy. So we're going to do that again. <laughs> yeah, no. That's not good enough. Try that again. And again, at an angle as high as you can get it. Let that ink soak in on there. There we go. That's beautiful. Okay, here's the deal. Um, well, let's stamp our flowers first. We're going to bring in these little flowers. And here's what I did. Now these flowers have an obvious way that they go together. It's a two-step stamping process, right? So I figured out how they went together. And then if you can see, I put a little black dot on my rubber with a Sharpie marker. And there's one here too. And that tells me that that's how these two stamps go together. So I'm just going to take the solid image background. I'm going to stamp it off once. Oh no, that isn't what I did. I did that for the other colors. So remember that. No, I'll tell you again. I'm going to stamp this, and then I'm going to... Oh, then I used Bermuda. Gosh, I just made this card today for Pete's sakes. You'd think I could remember one thing. <laughs> I 
I know I'm kind of hard on myself. Okay, let's see if this works. Look at, I didn't even stick my head in there. Um, so I'm going to do three of these because I need three flowers and then I need a little flower too. And I'm using Lemon Lime Twist and Bermuda Bay. And Ginger says, I love how you made your little swatch paper booklets. Have you done a video showing how you made them? If not, would you please? Well, that's a really good idea. Yeah, I would be happy to show you a video um, how to make those. And yeah, because I've had a lot of people ask me about them. So that's a great idea. Thank you, Ginger. Oh, Val, you broke your wrist on Tuesday? That's terrible. Oh, I bet you got your pre-order and now it's killing you. I completely understand that. Okay, there we go. That one's really pretty bad. You need to really stick your head over these. But you guys know that through the magic of TV, I've already done this. <laughs> yeah, you can call me a cheater if you want. I don't really care. Okay, now I've got my flowers. And I'm going to put a dimensional on the back of one of my big flowers. And a baby dimensional on the back of my little flower because we are gonna pop these little puppies up. Okay, so I got that going on. Then we're going to take this delicious striped paper, and here's what I wanna do. Well, I wanna make this at an angle, so how am I gonna do that? Do you think I need to measure it and do all that? Oh, heck no, that's just too much. I'm gonna start at this corner, and I'm just gonna cut it just a little bit. So let me show you. Why make things too complicated with all this measuring? I can tell you that it's about three quarters of an inch. So if you need to know numbers, that's what it is. Three quarters of an inch. And I'm just gonna cut that off. Oh, that didn't cut that great. It'll be okay. I didn't push on, I wasn't holding it down properly. And now that's gonna go right here. And isn't this fun? Come on, you little bugger. I think I have my, did anybody see my, here's my pokey tool. Okay. Let's, I was getting a little clogged up here. I have the um, Long Island Medium is on my TV screen with the sound muted. I get a kick out of her. She's pretty funny. I just looked up and it's like there she was with all her hair. Okay, now I'm just going to stack this together like this. Isn't that cute? Then I have a piece of half inch by about four and a half inches of um, lemon lime twist. And I'm just gonna run a little bit of glue right along that edge of my designer paper. And I'm gonna bring that up here. Now I left this long because it's slanted. It's not a definite measurement. Does that make sense? And I'm going to trim that off. And yay. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Then, a little bit of glue on these two flowers. Whoops, not that much. That's kind of a lot. And I'm just going to put these in place right here. And then I'm going to come in with my dimensional one. Pop that up. Here comes my little teeny weeny flower. Now mind you, all these stamps are in this lovely Friends stamp set. And I did cut these out with the framelits that are on here, so that made it easy. Then we're gonna do some rhinestones because we have flowers and why wouldn't you? <laughs> That's why. Because everybody loves some diamonds, don't they? I know I love diamonds. And I'm loving the smell of that beef stroganoff too. Oh my gosh, I'm sure you guys probably all ate. I'm sitting here, my stomach's rumbling. Okay, here is our card front. Before we do that, I'm just gonna quick stamp up the inside of my card. And then I'm gonna show you all the different colors that I made. Here comes the, on the front it says, you make me ridiculously happy. And then here it says, I'm honestly feeling very blessed. I'm like, who wouldn't, right? Um, where's that big flower? Right here. 
I'm going to come back in with this and I'm going to put that right there and then do the inside and hopefully I can get it somewhere where it looks like I did some double stamping. Well, that's not the best, but it'll have to work. I know. You guys have been with me long enough tonight, right? Okay, here we go. This goes on the inside. And again, this is just four by five and a quarter. And guess what? We are going to put glue right here. Oh, I forgot to do one more little thing. Right here. Don't get it too close to the edge because I kind of forgot about that. This piece is going to go right on the front and it's going to cover up that white piece inside and it's going to give you the illusion of a card front all the way around all four sides. Do you see what I did? Ah, fun fold. Now this is a little different, right? We've put little images on the front and opened the card like this, but this one's just a little bit different. Love, love, love. Okay, and I almost forgot one thing. I'm going to put a piece of the polka dots right in here, looking totally cool on that inside too. Okay, you guys, what do you think? Yeah, lots of fun. Okay, let me show you the other ones. Let me get these closed up and out of the way. Hang on so I can bring in everything and you can see the other colors that I made. i got to get some of this mess cleaned up. I don't want to drop my cards in it. You guys know I'm really good at that. <laughs> okay, here we go. What do you think about this one? Yeah, this is the Berry Burst. Isn't that cute? Super, super fun. Here is the Pool Party. Again, just pretty. This Foil Frenzy Designer Series paper is still available. And check this out. Tangerine Tango. Look at how gorgeous those are. Love, love, love. I know, Karen. Isn't it cool? It's just really kind of different. And it's so easy. It's just a whole card front. That's why I felt like, okay, and let me show you where I got the idea from. This was a swap, this was in a bag with some swaps that I forgot about. Look at that. This uses the Mayflowers stamp set. But that's where I got the idea. I'm like, oh, I can make some really cool cards out of this. Okay, now don't forget to use the host code when you're placing your orders. I always appreciate your orders. You will get a response back to me fair, back from me fairly quickly thanking you for your order. And I do try to send out, I shouldn't say try, I do send out thank you cards for all my orders. If you place an order, you get placed into a drawing. Um, obviously, there's a ton more people in the drawing for comments than there are for shares and for orders. So you have a much better chance of winning prizes from me. Um, because the, what do you call that? The stakes are lower. No, that's not what I want to say. You guys know what I mean. Like when you're playing the lottery, your odds are better. That's what I wanted to say. Your odds are better. Don't forget to use the host code. You can find my website right here at www.astampabove.com. Here is that cute graduation card that was so quick and simple to make. Then we have the, what was this called again? Double triangle fun fold cards. Those were really cool and very easy too, weren't they? Didn't you think they were easy? I thought they were really easy. Yes, Denise, I did list all the winners at the beginning of the video. So you can check back as soon as we're done. You'll be able to fast forward right to that. You'll see um, I gave away a bunch of stamp sets. And here is our fun little graduation card using the... Um, Lovely friends. No. Um, cake soiree flowers. Wow, that's a lot of cards, you guys. Well, I didn't make all those, but is that, that's everything, right? I think so. Okay, now for, um, not next week. Remember, next week I am going to be gone to Mexico. I know, I'm super excited. I can't wait. I, I really look forward to drinking um, fufu drinks when I'm in tropical locations. So I don't know, 
I'm going to have to have my husband not drink anything if I drink any fufu drinks because that's the whole problem going on in Mexico right now is people are blacking out and they're drowning in the pool. So, ugh, that's terrible. But anyways, I'm sure we won't have that problem. I'm pretty sure they probably have everything under control. Do you guys have any questions for me? We've got retirement going on. Um, that's the big deal right now. Don't forget the share what you love promotion is starting on May 1st and you have three different bundles to choose from. A basic bundle, a little more please bundle, and the gotta have it all bundle. Um, so this is just super, super cool. You're going to love this. And because this is a promotion, you are going to find, you're going to have to have it, number one. So you just, just get there, okay? Because there's going to be so many samples, so many Stampin' Up! demonstrators sharing samples with this because it's a promotion. That's why I always love promotions because we get a gazillion ideas from some extremely talented. Our artisans are amazing. Um, as well as the rest of our talented um, demonstrator base, my demonstrator friends too. So lots and lots of great stuff to, to share. You'll be seeing tons of things with that. Does anybody have any questions for me? I don't think I left you. Yeah, don't drink in the pool and drown, Lisa. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Marsha. I'm going to enjoy my um, vacation to Mexico. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, when I go on vacation, I'm not the kind of person who has to go see everything and do everything, although I'm not opposed to it. I can go on vacation and I can stay right in our resort where we're safe, hopefully, and just rest and relax. I like to read books on my Kindle. I like to lay by the pool. I don't really like the ocean. And no offense to anybody, but salt water is icky. Um, and I hate sand. But I will go lay on the beach. <clears throat> I really like cement and a pool where I can see what's going to eat me or not eat me. I'll go snorkeling. I'm not scared of it, but I prefer swimming pools. <laughs> Yeah, where I can see what's in the water and um, I'm not getting sand all over in my, you know, hoo-hoo and every place else. <laughs> so it should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. And it's just me and my husband going. None of the kids are going with us. So that'll be really nice and relaxing. I hope I can keep him in check. He can be a handful sometimes, you guys. I'm not even kidding. Um I think we're good. I have a lot of ideas that I wrote down from our last Facebook Live that um, I will be working on. But I, I I still have a bunch of fun folds from that swap that I will be making some original cards of my own and showing you the cards that I got and, and how to do them. So not really sure what our, um, what is going to be on the agenda for my Facebook Live on, let's see... May 6th. That's when I'll be back. Um, oh, one other thing I wanted to let you know. There's a couple things going on. Stamp sets. Because Stampin' Up! produces or, yeah, produces their own stamps. We make these stamps, okay? All stamp sets that are retired are guaranteed until May 25th. After that point, if you happen to order a stamp set that's retiring and it is out of stock, they're not going to make any more. Okay, so you have until May 25th, which I think is very generous seeing that May 31st is the end for these stamp sets. You have until May 25th to order any retiring stamp sets and be guaranteed. I also want to make sure you know that anything other than stamps, anything other than stamps, dies, punches, um, baker's twine, ribbon, designer paper, none of that is guaranteed. So once it's out of stock, it's gone. You can't get it anymore. And I really hope you guys, if you have not gotten this foil frenzy paper, it is totally worth an order to get this. It is so pretty. Anywho, um, Paper Pumpkin is also 50% off for the first two months until May 10th. That's a promotion going on. So you can get Paper Pumpkin, um, let's see, this is April, for May for $10 and June for $10 only. That is a huge, huge promotion. Um, and so you just need an email address to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. This 
That special is only for new subscribers, and I've heard Stampin' Up! say all you need is a new email address, so just keep that in mind. It seems kind of a little twisted, but I've heard them say it too. So they just want people to subscribe. The kits are awesome. I do have a paper pumpkin um, blog hop coming up next week, I believe. Yeah, I've got that all ready. I've made my projects. I had so much stuff to get ready to go on this trip because I will be posting to my blog every day um, while I'm gone. I can schedule things ahead like that. So usually when Stampin' Up! demonstrators go on vacation, they bust their butt to get stuff scheduled ahead of time so that while they're gone, everything is still happening. And that's what I like to do too because it's hard when you're self-employed. If you take a vacation, you have no money coming in. You come home to no money and you just spent a ton of money on a vacation, right? So we like to really work hard and work ahead so that everything stays consistent. I wish I could do a Facebook Live from Mexico next Sunday. That would be totally fun. But I can't drag all this stamping stuff to Mexico. Let's be real. <laughs> and I might need a little break. All right, you guys. I'm done rambling on. Thank you so much. Um, Cindy, you can go back and watch as soon as I... Um, shut off the video, catch the reruns. I did show everybody the card that you made. So I did this fun fold. This was Cindy. Cindy's on now. Cindy Ellers, this was your card. So I did do um, a couple samples with that. You guys have yourself a wonderful two weeks. I will see you back here on May 6th. Good night.